And <laughs> yeah, of course there was going to be a jump scare. Of course, because we are on scary mode, remember? This game has like like a non-scary mode and a scary mode, so you get more jump scares on the scary mode. Ow, my chest hurts. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to this Let's Play of Spirit Hunter NG. In the last episode, we continued to explore the Moroccan mansion. Then uh, we went home and some spooks happened. And now we've returned to the Moroccan residence as we need to continue investigations to learn more about the author's story. So I reached the Moroccan residence without any particular trouble today. Another wonderful night. I feel like we make great progress with our investigation. You got here so fast today. Well, I learned after my trip here yesterday. Anyway, same plan as yesterday? Yeah, you and someone else go investigate. The other one stays behind to keep watch. Sounds alright with you? Yeah, that's fine. Well, if there is a flaw to this plan. Van looks towards Moroccan residence. It might be the fact that we already explored most of the mansion yesterday. We already checked the hallway, living room and the bedroom, but there's no other rooms. Hang on a second. From the outside, the mansion looks like it would have a second floor, or at least an attic. But from what we saw yesterday, we didn't find any stairs anywhere. That's what I said! Go look at the video two, two videos ago. And I was like, there's no stairs, how do you get to the attic? Oh, that's what I thought. It's exactly what I thought. Wait a moment. It doesn't necessarily have to be stairs, right? Maybe there's a ladder hidden somewhere? I was looking for a ladder as well. Rosa makes a good point. I missed those details on my first day of investigation. Let's take one more look around the rooms. That's all we could do. We just have to use our feet, eyes and hands. Let's... Time, uh, time's wasting. Let's start. All right. Let's go. Uh, who do you choose as your partner? Well, we chose Rosé before. Should we just bring Ban with us? Let's just take Ban with us. All right, Rosé, you be on the lookout. No problem. Leave it to me. I'll see you both later. All right, let's go. We're just gonna go. Cool. Oh, phone's going. A text? Is it D-Man? Open the message. It is D-Man. The only person who ever texts me is D-Man. D-Man. How are you? It's D-Man. I've repaired your next riddle. Repeatedly hurry the movement of the monster that moves without rest. Hurriedly re repeatedly hurry the movement of the monster that moves without rest. I'm normally quite good with these riddles, but I don't quite understand this one. Hey, look at that. Look at that later. The investigation takes priority. Sorry, I was trying to think of what they mean. Moves without rest. Like a clock? Clock? I know I'm coming. There's a clock in the living room, isn't it? Do we use play with that? Move, like move the handles? Oh, okay. What? Another phone call? As we step into the room, the loud ringing suddenly stopped. Tch, don't surprise me like that. I should check it out just in case. No, we're going to do the clock first. I'm pretty sure clock is monster that moves without the old pen clock on the wall. Uh, I can't remember what it said. Uh, Move it forward. Go forward, yeah? I push the long hand around, but nothing happens. It said fast. I like, do it a couple of times. Oh. Oh, when I spin the long hand, the clock makes noise. I open the glass door and a card falls out. Ah, I got it! Taint D card. I lower my gaze to the writing on the card. Spirit Memoirs 6-1 Devil Mail Email sent by the devil. If you read them, you kill someone. You'll kill someone. Oh god. Some murderers have mentioned this urban legend when interrogated. The motives for the murders are unknown as the attackers claim to be tempered by an evil spirit. In some cases the victim and killer had never met. The only thing in common in each case was a mention of the devil. 
No traces of these mouths were found, and no one remembered the contents exactly, except the subject line. It was that ex-detective guy who told me about these cases, though they came from a police officer he knew. Unluckily for me, this was the exact uh, kind of case I enjoy, the fun to work on, but I never get any compensation for it. I went and pulled an ad in the magazine with a warning not to open the mail. Uh, oh, I went and put an ad in a magazine with a warning not to open the mail in hopes of finding someone who knew something. I got one response and met with them. My purpose then was to ident identify the seller. sender. The IP address didn't exist and I hit a dead end. A few months passed after I started investigating. That's when I got the mail myself on my cell, like it was coming after me. I went mad with joy when I saw devil mail in the subject line. What do you think was inside? An endless string of letters. Lisa. You know, I feel like I've seen an AI with that name, but that's not an important thing right now. Those letters sound familiar. It was a case of Mr. K. Case for Mr. K, even. Uh, this has got gone along so time to wrap up but there's one more thing i'd like to mention that might be making you curious this is of course who killed me don't be alarmed the reason's not important but curses have no effect on me at any rate the ex-detective of lisa case no the ex-detectives on lisa's case so focus on your own problems and best of luck who killed me oh i guess okay because it's um like Yashiki from the first game, nothing killed him because curses don't work or whatever. He's so good at like getting away from curses. I don't know. I'm just gonna continue. What's that? Some kind of card game? Honestly, I'm not really sure. The pendulum swings without stopping. Okay, we done the pendulum. Oh, what's this? What's like fruit? It's a rattan basket. The fruit inside are black. The fruit inside the basket are so old they've all turned completely black. They're completely dried up. I pluck one of the fruits of what seems to be a bunch of bananas. Dried fruit. Yuck. That sounds disgusting. Uh... Oh, let's go to the phone again. There's a black phone on top of the storage shelf. I take the handset and put it to my ear. I don't hear anything. Is the line connected? I turn on the flashlight and follow the telephone line coming from behind the shelf. Hmm? I notice that something's stuck between the storage shelf and the wall. I try wedging my hand in, but the crevice is too small and I can't reach it. Find something? There's something stuck between the shelf and the wall. The space is so tight my hand can't reach inside. Then let's move the shelf. Yeah, that's probably the best way. Okay. Oh, are we moving like the shelf? Uh, move the shelf. Let's try it. I'll give you a hand. Van and I go to the side of the storage shelf and... Alright, let's do this. Now, humph. With this call, I pick up the shelf. Perhaps the wood is dense because this thing is far heavier than it looks. Whoa, it's heavier than I thought. We'll, we'll, we'll just move it a little bit. Don't hurt yourself, old man. I'm not a senior citizen, damn it. Here it goes. <laughs> we move it a step or two and set it back down. Damn it, almost threw my hip out there. So, did you get the thing? Yeah, it was on the floor. So, what do you think it was? Quit playing around and show it to me. I light up the object with a flashlight and show it to him. It's a cassette tape labelled H. Obtained H tape. Hmm. Looks like it was worth putting my hip at risk. I wonder what's recorded on this tape. Let's go to the bedroom where the tape the, the tape recorder is the um, boom boxes. Uh, nothing different, there's no taping in it, blah blah blah. Oh, that's right. I remember that I bought the replacement battery. I take the new battery from the pocket and swap the batteries. Oh, you're prepared. We should have, we shouldn't have any problems playing the tape now. 
H tape. I put the tape H into the box. Tape H used. I press the play button. No sound comes out the speakers. Hey, you sure that battery is good? Well, the tape is spinning just fine. Maybe it just hasn't got to the part where there's, there's sound. Suddenly the phone from the next room rings. Oh god. What the heck's going on? Are we supposed to answer the phone? But the tape is still spinning inside the boombox. Let's go take a look. We're gonna go take a look at the phone? We're going back to the phone? I guess? A lot of this. It could just do it automatically. Why do I have to go do this? I summon up some courage to take the handset and put it to my ear. Radio noise. I hear something that sounds similar to when tapes are played back. I listen to the handset just hoping to hear something else. Oh gosh. <gasps> Please just end it. Just kill me already! Oh god. I almost fling the handset away in response to the screaming that pissed my ears. Oh, hey, hey, what happened? Uh, I'm alright, it's nothing. I can't afford to miss any of it. I immediately return the handset to my ear once again. Oh god. It hurts so much. Please, just end it. Just kill me already. What the hell is this? I hear a girl's voice pleading desperately. From further away, I hear the murmurs of an old man. Hmm, mm, I see. <gasps> oh, creepy. Sorry. I want to try to keep you alive. But that might be impossible with all four limbs cut off. <gasps> oh, God. That's disturbing. Oh, the phone ends with a man's statement. So he's been cutting kids' limbs off. It ended. Judging by your expression, I'm not sure if I want to hear what you heard, but I guess I have to. Tell me what you heard. Uh, Alright. I described the girl's scream and the voice of the man who's apologised. If what he said about cutting off all four limbs is literal and is true, then this is a recording of something truly terrible. The entire time I heard a sound that sounded like a tape noise. I couldn't hear it directly, but I think it was what was recorded on H-tape. All four limbs cut off. What the hell's this guy thinking apologising when he's the one doing it? Sounds like the logic of a psycho. There's no pointing point in something in thinking about it. We're trying to figure out why he became a psycho. Okay. That was a little bit disturbing, but I guess we'll just continue. Go back to the bedroom and see if we can do anything with like the tape. I don't know. Oh, God. Hello? I like your mask. What the hell? I can't contain my shock as my flashlight sucks the object on the ground. I gather myself and look again. Hello? Is that a doll? The object sitting on the bed seems to be a little girl doll. I'm no doll expert, but I can tell that it is more... S -s sloppily made than the Kakuya doll. Its clothes are dirty and there are a couple of reddish black stains on it. It's wearing a weird mask. What the hell is this mask supposed to be? It has a beak, so is it a bird? Oh, it's like the ducks! It's Was this one of the little ducklings from the ballet? Who cares? Let's check it out. Let's go over to it. I don't want to go over to it if I am completely honest. We're gonna like touch its bloodometry crap, maybe. There's a reddish black stain on the doll's clothing. That might be a blood stain. Looks like blood. Maybe I'll give it a try. I let out a breath to relax and press my fingertips to the blood. This isn't gonna be a happy story, is it? It's never a happy story. Oh. I hear a sniffling, crying sound. Along with it, I begin to hear a quiet voice. I'm famished. Famished. Hungry? Do we have any food on us? Kojima? Hey, is Link wrong? No, 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 I'm alright. I heard a voice. The voice said it was famished. 
What kind of name is Famish? <laughs> Wait, is that a serious question? No, I mean, I'm saying that I have no idea what they mean by famished. Oh, that's what you mean. Well, the word famished means hungry. Uh, that's the first time I've heard it. Is it from a weird dialect? Let's just leave this for another time. It's a waste of time explaining. It's, a, it's strange that a doll would be hungry, but that's what it sounds like it's saying. Can you feed it? Do we have any food? Fruit? Dried fruit? Mm. If it were edible, a kid might enjoy it. There you go, yeah. I take the dry fruit out of my bag and place it on top of the girl's lap. The mask makes a sound and then the mask falls on the doll's lap. Oh! A tamed pheasant mask and dried up fruit was used. Okay. Um... Who got H tape back. We're just gonna like ignore the doll. It looks pretty high quality, but the layer of dust tells me that it's going to waste. What are we doing now? Decorative frame. Inspector for I see the single nail in the middle of the board. Looks like nails for hanging things. Can we hang anything on there? Charcoal, spray paint, uh, hair. Can we hang that mask? Set it, but nothing seems to change. No? Can we hang up the sailor uniform? Take out the sailor uniform, but I can't think of how to use it. Incense, tape, mask? Will I hang that? Oh! Oh, okay, it did something. I placed a pheasant mask on the frame. Oh. Hey, looks pretty alright. Maybe it was hung up here. Just then I hear something move in the hallway. Oh god, what's going on? I quickly remove the mask, but the shaking won't stop. What have you done, Kojima? Hey, look! Oh, look, a door's opened. Eventually the vibrating stops. The hallway entrance appears at the mud wall in front of me. Wow, seriously? Is this a ninja lair or something? This is the first time I've actually... I've ugh, see, I've seen an actual real trapdoor, but it looks like we saw a glimpse of the true face of the owner of this place. What are you talking about? There's only one type of person who would build something like this. A paranoid person, someone who is possessed by something. Possessed? By what? That's the million dollar question, kid. Come on, time to see where the hidden passage leads. Mm, I'm gonna like... Oh, hold on. Is it this button? No. Oh. Uh... What is the saving button? Yeah, that button. <laughs> I wanted to do a quick savey save because I don't trust this place. <laughs> I don't trust it at all. Uh, are we like just gonna go up? I'm kind of scared. <laughs> oh god, I don't like this whole way. Uh, we make our way down the extremely narrow path and the hidden from the hidden entrance. It's really cramped. <laughs> Well, there are rooms on both sides this path, probably goes between the two rooms. At the end of the path there's another door. Looks like this is our only option. Let's see where this leads. Ooh, I don't like this. What is that sound? I hear something walking on the roof. Of course you do. I mean, it was never not going to be like that, was it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that scares me. Okay, I gotta get some context into this. I'm claustrophobic. Looking into this is horrifying. And yeah, of course, there was gonna be a jump scare. 
force because we are on scary mode remember this game has like like a non-scary mode and a scary mode so you get more jump scares on the scary mode ow my chest hurts <gasps> we're fine we're fine it's not real it's a game <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> okay, composure. We've got it back. Um, my kitten is still fast asleep. So me screaming, she doesn't care. She's like still fast asleep in a bed. Good. Good to know. She will come to me if I'm ever in trouble. <gasps> Beyond that door, I open the door, and I'm shocked to be looking at the front entrance of Morocco residence. Oh. I see. What? Hold on, wait a second. Is that really possible? Huh? I mean, I don't believe it either, but... But it's actually happening? Hold on a sec. Keep calm, chill out, and take a look around. I'm trying to keep calm. What I notice next is that the secret door I thought we opened earlier is now closed. Everything seems to be the same. Why is the entrance to the secret passage closed again? I don't have a damn clue. I am positive that we entered the secret passageway and opened the door. Did something happen the moment we went through the door? <laughs> yeah, I got jump scared. Okay, no, that was before, but still. <laughs> that thought gives me an idea. Hey, we entered from the door locked at the front entrance, right? So, what if we try to leave? Like, doing the opposite of what we just did? Yeah, if we end up back at the secret passage by doing that. I really did not want to think about it, but doesn't it seem likely to be stuck in here? That's bad. Come on, let's try going outside. Oh god, they've entered a weed. I rush open the door and what's going outside? I see the unchanged Morocco residence once again. Phew, that's a relief. You scared me for a second. Rosé, our lookout, looks at the two of us with a confused expression on her face. You two certainly look like you're having fun. Did something happen? Y yeah you see. I retell her what happened when we went through the secret passageway. Really? I can't believe it. But it must be true if you're saying it. Piercing, piecing all the information together, it seems like when you entered the secret passage you entered a different Morocco residence. A different Morocco residence? How is it different? I'm not sure. It could be in a different time situation, just some specific state. We travelled to Morocco residence in a different state, but entering that door is what I mean. If we had to come up with the explanation, that's the hypothesis that makes the most sense. Assuming that you're correct, how is that even possible? There are some extremely powerful curses and thoughts that some sometimes cause phenomenon like this. Stairs that take you to the same floor or intersections that lead to the same place. These are examples I've heard from someone who actually experienced them firsthand. <laughs> Yashiki from the first game. <laughs> I don't believe that at all, but I guess I have to s since it is actually happening. If we're experiencing this phenomenon, then it means that there are great dangers ahead. Are you going to continue the investigating? I'm pretty prepared to face these dangers. I've gotten through it up until now. This is nothing. boy, that's one thing about you that I like. <laughs> Alright, let's continue our investigation. My chest hurts. <laughs> okay. So, shall we like put the pheasant marks back on? Because that opens the door, right? But there's nothing to let like, the secret doors go to open. Oh, we got that other mask though. We had like the Kina mask. Hmm. Hmm. 
wonder if there's other stuff that's going on. Oh, the thing's gone. The moment I enter the room, I hear something from the back. Is that a boombox? I hear the button being pressed once again and the noise from the tape stops. Taking a look, I see that there's a cassette tape in the room box. I eject it and I notice that label is labelled A. Again? We have no choice, just listen. I rewind the tape and press the play button. And immediately a shuddering voice echoed. Oh god, not again. It hurts. Give it back, my... Ugh, more screaming. A girl screaming fills the room and then it finally goes quiet. We hear silence for a bit then. Mm, I see. Don't worry, it's just your legs. I mean, I'm knowledgeable in treatment as well, but now... <gasps> Is this Morocco? Is that... Because he used to be a surgeon, right? <gasps> but now... The man's calm voice is cut off by the tape stopping. I double check to make sure the tape's done and then eject it. A tape taped A. Creepy. Just listening to it makes me sick. Yes, yeah, seriously. The screams were buried in my ear. We are just. Why are just your legs and knowledgeable in the field of treatment important? Thinking about it, the owner of the mansion, Yakumo Muroki, was aspiring to be a surgeon. Is that male voice on the tape, Muroki? Creepy. Creepy. What is that? Study. But I wonder what caused these stains. Now I'm looking there are more sorts than I expected. You already looked at that. Blah 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 There's kind of nothing in here, we'll go to the other room. It's like we're jumping from room to room, like constantly. We're looking for another mask, I guess? Oh god, okay, we're looking for another mask, I guess. And there's a creepy girl who's like just sitting there. Of course she is. A doll, again. I know this doll wasn't here before. I'm starting to be convinced of Rose's theory about the other Morocco residents. Take a look at the clothes it's wearing, I can see a light stain on the abdomen. Let's go touch her abdomen! Maybe I'll give it a try. I slowly breathe out and bring my fingertips closer to the stain on the clothes. Bloodometry time! I'm hearing what sounds like crying again, and from afar a girl's voice saying, I'm cold, Mum. This time I hear words I can understand. She's cold. Did she, I mean, still say that? Yeah, I heard it clearly this time. Cold, Mum. Hmm, if only there were climate control in here, Shh. we'd get that lucky. If there's, no sol sol if there's no solution here, then I guess we'll just have to carry this somewhere. Carry this somewhere? Is there like, can we go like t and get like the bed sheets like cover with like a blanket? There's gotta be a blanket or something here that we can cover her with. Can we grab like this? So do bed, blah blah blah. No? Hmm. Mm. There's got to be. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Curtain? Can we like pull the curtain off? I don't understand.
Oh, we're supposed to carry her then. Okay. I guess I'll do it. Here we go. I steadily steady myself and carry the doll. It feels heavier than an actual child. Hey, sorry, but I'll leave this to the young and my hip's not exactly what it used to be. Damn it, you owe me for this. All right, now the question is where should I carry it to? Carry it to the bed. I carry the doll. You can't investigate while carrying the doll. I'm going to carry it to the bed, like put it in the bed. Entering the bedroom, my eyes immediately shift towards the bed. Those blankets are obviously high quality. I'm sure she won't be cold in that. All right, there it is. I'll lay it down on the bed in the back. You can move the blanket aside. Sorry. Sure, I could do that. Okay, here you go. I lay the doll on the sheets and place the duvet over it. Well, how's it going? Is it satisfied? Let me ask her again. I put my fingertips under the blanket. Hello? You okay? You warmer? Is this better? I hear a crying voice again, and that voice is cold, Mum. Oh, she's still cold. It's no use, she's saying the same thing. Oh, wait. I realised that I was overlooking something important. Mum? Say what? I think she wants a mother. No way that's happening. If you're wearing both of us dry, if you're wringing both, wringing us both dry, I swear I can read, you wouldn't get a single motherly drop out of us. You got that right. Well, the doll definitely isn't satisfied. Now what should we do? You can't search here with your current partner. You, you can change partners at the area entrance. Okay, so we need to get Rosé. Need to go get Rosé. Oh, I don't know why I did that. Can we touch her? See, can we touch her again? That's not what I was gonna have happened. Uh, can't for the job. Hey, if I was a spirit in the door, I'd be pissed off and kill both of us. It's literally saying you need to go, go and get someone else. I was like, can we? No, I'm just being dumb. <laughs> I'm just dumb. It's not my fault. <gasps> On that note, before we swap to Rosé, I want to thank you so much for watching and I'm going to leave it here. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next episode. Bye!